So Sunday's coming again. That's right, it's March 13th right around the corner. Remember, this is time change Sunday, so, so spring that clock forward an hour Saturday night so that you're on time Sunday morning. And I got a tough assignment this week because we'll be looking at the 13th chapter of Mark. And if you've been reading your way through the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13 almost comes as sort of an interruption because we've been going through the ministry of Jesus on to now his journey to the cross and we're getting close to that. We've had the Palm Sunday story and then all of a sudden there's a whole chapter that's devoted to questions really about where things are headed and, and the coming destruction and things like that, all of these end times questions. And we're going to be talking about how that fits into the narrative, why this fits into this particular part of the Gospel of Mark. But we're also going to be thinking about how it fits into our life today because um, I don't know if you've noticed, there's a lot of anxiety in the world these days. Um, it's not all that unusual for someone to say, I just don't know what kind of times we're living in. What is going on here? Is something happening? Or the big question, is this the end of time? What is going on here? Actually, these questions have been going around for a long, long time, and I actually came out to the Christian bookstore this afternoon to look at what's out there on the shelf, because I remember there being a lot of books that really speculate a lot about where the future is headed, about end of time issues, and sure enough, they are still there. The book I remember was published in 1970, back when I was in high school. A friend told me I needed to read it. It was called The Late Great Planet Earth. And when I read through that book, I was a little bit surprised. I said, why haven't I heard about anything about this in church? And it was only later that I realized that there was really more than one way for Christians to look at these things. And our church happened to be not one that got sucked into all kind of specific prophecies about thinking that, that all the events of the world were somehow predetermined there. Um, the 13th chapter of Mark really gives us a lot of help, but we really need that because there's still a lot of speculation and trying to figure out things that's really not ours to figure out. I just made a few notes while I was in the bookstore on some of the things I saw on the shelf there. Um, there was a book that said the signs of Zodiac reveal all kinds of things about Jesus. I saw this line on the cover. Is it possible that a 3,000 year old mystery revealed the time of 9-11 and the Wall Street crash? Somebody else, the end of cash. When the world goes cashless, the Antichrist isn't far behind. There was a book called The Late Great United States saying this is America's last chapter. And then more than one book talked about countdowns, countdowns to doomsday. One book said the countdown to doomsday has begun. Oh, here's one more. Why ISIS and Ebola are only the beginning. This was all in the section of books in the Christian bookstore called Current Issues. And let me say, I was pleased that amid all of that speculation book, I found two books that were actually focused on how we can reach out better to people who are poor. Those books were hard to find right there in the middle of all that other mess. It really leaves us confused though. What do we need to understand? And Jesus actually gave us a whole bunch of clues right there in chapter 13 of Mark. So that's what we're gonna be looking at this Sunday. Sunday's coming and it'll be here quick and I hope to see you.